let's talk about Bristol against Exeter Chiefs. Topsy, Bristol got battered, 50 points at home, ugly. But how about those Chiefs? Oh, they were brilliant. It was borderline a complete performance, nine out of tens all round. And this week's take, we're just going to look at some clever attack for Jack Knoll's second try. It's just about working over the short side, making the same set of defenders tackle time after time after time. It led to a brilliant score. But what you're going to see as this clip unfolds is, after this breakdown, you're going to see Will Capon, you're going to see Callum Sheedy, and you're going to see Piers O'Connor. These guys are defending this whole set of play. They're getting worked time and time again. So there they are at this first phase. And Exeter just keep coming back to the short side. They just keep working them over because that's where the space. And when you look at attack, you know, you see a lot of attackers say spread the field. Here comes Piertown. Now he's joining because he sees the threat. Sometimes the temptation is to play open. But if the short side is there, you can see Callum Sheedy saying, boys, come help me. There's numbers. You just keep going back there. You keep going back to where he's successful. And Chiefs did that in this succession of attacks, time after time after time. So the same four, three defenders, four defenders, there they are, highlighted again, having to get up the floor, having to work hard, having to make tackle after tackle. Capon on the floor, Piatau getting involved, Sheedy screaming, begging for help, screaming. Begging, screaming, saying, boys, I can't keep doing this. But if it keeps coming, there is almost nothing you can do. And as you can see, they're soaking up tackles now. They are on their feet, but by this stage, they're tired. They're thinking, right, how much more can we keep doing this before Exeter play away? But the Chiefs are very clever. They say, no, no, we're going to keep coming time after time. And when they do, we highlight it here. They've got 10 players in that 15-metre channel working over the same three or four defenders. Jack Noel appears off his wing. Lovely stuff from start to finish and indicative of all the good work that Chiefs did. That was a brilliant try in what was a brilliant performance. I tell you what, well executed but well coached. Yeah. That, that's properly well coached. I watched that game start to finish, didn't see that. Well done, Topsy. I'm going to steal that uh, Always, analysis mate. and use, use it as my own uh, bit of banter theft. Uh, but for Bristol, I, I just thought, Topsy, there were instances where, like the Fricker try, where Callum Sheedy does brilliantly to get away that split-second cross-field kick. Brilliant bit of execution, but actually it highlighted really nicely how well they had narrowed up that Chiefs defence. Yeah. There was acres of space out there for Fricker. He could have he had a cup of tea and still scored. So they can do it, but actually... Mm -hmm. It's difficult to do that repeatedly against the Chiefs because they're so powerful, so well drilled, that they just, this season, are wearing, wearing people down. Right, you stay here and eat some banana bread and a bit of flapjack. By the way, that's a little thing that we do. Don't know if we should tell people this or not, but yeah, when we're in home or away change rooms across the Premiership week after week, we like to sample the different teams' snacks. So thanks very much to the Cell Sharks management. I particularly like the flapjack. He liked banana bread. Overall, we're pretty keen on your snack situation. Right, you stay here. I'm going to take you all on one of the most famous walks in English rugby.